Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. This is being recorded on October 8th, but October 8th, 9th, 10th, whenever, you know, because the timing is fluid. This reading's for somebody. Somebody. <laughs> not everybody. Okay, so keep that in mind. This reading may not be for you. We're going to see whatever comes up today. I was drawn to these cards, and I've pulled, I've cut the deck a minute ago, and it was woman holding coin. Now, woman holding coin is a woman that is really focusing on her finances, her job, her security, her stability. So we have a woman who's, who's probably putting that first at this point. We'll see what happens. If you are a man and you're watching this and, and this has this reading turns out to be with you, you may be interested in a woman that is very um, concentrated in it on you know her, her money. So keep that in mind. That may be her, her top priority. Journey. Now, it's funny, I think the last time I used this deck, or one of the times, this was the very first card that came out. Uh, we know this woman, she has her bags packed, her, her suitcase is packed, and she's crossing that bridge, you know, to the path, less traveled. You see, there's only one, maybe there's two, there's one down here, too. Anyway, I think there is, you really can't tell. Anyway, she's crossing that bridge to to another place, okay? She's leaving this side behind. It's like she's she's headed to a new place. She's headed to a new place. She's not taking very much with her either. You know, she's only bringing one bag. So she's 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 headed to a new destination, leaving the leaving whatever she had behind. That's done. Oh my goodness, she's decided. You know what? It's time. It's time for me to mend this broken heart. And I feel feel like the heart has mended. It's still seeping though. There's still, there's still, something is still seeping from this broken heart. But you see how much it's mended. I mean, it's, it's really coming back together nicely. Although there's still a deep wound down here. <laughs> deep, deep. There's still a deep wound, okay? On the outside, you know, up on the surface, it's, it's mending pretty well. But on the inside, it's, it's still there. It's still pretty open. The wound is, is still there. Walking away, holy shit. So, yeah, somebody is, is totally, totally walking away. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Now, closure. Closure. I mean, we have you. This is a nine, okay? Seven plus two is nine. It's a closure, and it's a closure as well. If somebody is, is closing a cycle with faith and trust, moving, taking the next step in a new direction. And it's a it's a really good direction. It's like... I am truly, truly walking away from this situation. I am I'm, I'm truly walking away. There's, but this one is still looking back. She's, she just needs to close that door. That one's gone. So that, that wound is so deep that I can see why, why you would look back a little bit. Fifth angel, or fifth angel, <laughs> fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Now, this is the throat chakra. This is about, um, you know, communication, speaking the truth, being honest. Enlightened. 
So it looks like somebody is, I think there's a woman, it could be a man too, is being honest with herself about what she needs to do. Huh. You know, I've shuffled these cards quite a bit, but we have this cornucopia. This is the harvest time, okay? This is extreme happiness. We have this 11, 9 plus 2 equals 11. Sorry about that. My camera just, the, the memory card was full again, so the camera shut down. Now, I was talking about 11s, you know, so you could say we have 11, 11, okay? 11s um, can signify independence. Um, your thoughts become things. So I feel like somebody has been dreaming about walking away, thinking about walking away. They have walking away. They have walked away. Some people have, and with this newfound independence, they are finding um, they're going through some sort of awakening. I feel as though this awakening is bringing them some sort of truth. They're receiving communication from above that is is allowing them to heal the deep wounds that they have encountered um there's there's a lot of um fast moving energy here things are changing for the better because we have somebody here that is walking away from from their own brokenness you know what i mean it's like i i have the power i have the ability to change my reality and I feel like somebody is doing that. It's like, this is not how the story is going to end. I am moving on. I'm moving on to a better place. And, and 9 plus 3 equals 12. And, and, and 1 plus 2 equals 3, which is, uh, you know, the, your prayers have been heard. Threes are growth, change, uh, trinity, mind, body, spirit. Uh, somebody, I feel like there's been some sort of you know, divine intervention here where somebody, you know, from the divine that has re given you some sort of truth, you know, they've implanted these positive thoughts into your head that, you know, you can walk away from this, you can heal, you can um, receive rewards from, th from this, you will receive a reward from this. Because cornucopia is it's it's harvest time, okay? It is it's harvest time. It's it's a time of um, of gifts and blessings, and everything is ripe for a beautiful outcome. It's it's really extreme extreme um, bliss per se. It's like you have everything that you need. You're gonna get everything that you need here. There's plenty. So I think that we have somebody that is walking away from what broke them with a little bit of divine guidance, okay? So, and they are going to receive some sort of reward for doing so. Appreciation. Wonderful. appreciating what they have learned along the way and appreciate this is this card kind of reminds me of the nine of pentacles it's like grateful grateful for the lessons grateful for the for the journey grateful for even even the loss because it has led them to have more appreciation for the small stuff, you know, the, the little stuff, more pre not to take stuff, stuff for granted. Somebody has gained appreciation, I think, for themselves, for life, through this broken brokenness that they've encountered. They've gained appreciation. I think, that, like I said, this reminds me of the Nine of Pentacles for themselves. another 11 so somebody has been going through some sort of awakening that's for sure and it feels as though they are now taking off their mask you know that mask she's the mask is off she's still chained though she's taking the mask off but she's still like i said the wound is deep 
So the, the wound has not completely healed. The, and, to, and maybe the only way to heal is to move on, move to a different place, perhaps. Staying where you're at is going to continue to be make things gray. See how gray it is? You know, see how, how dull and gray and um, like there's, there's no serenity in that. There's no color. There's no happiness there. Somebody is still staying in this this gray spot, even though they they take the, they've taken the mask off that they need to slip out of this chain and and truly walk away. Okay, so somebody is still attached. Change is coming. I mean, if you look, this is a kind of like this is like an eclipse. Total eclipse. Well, I'm, I don't know if it's a total eclipse, but that just came to my mind. It's like a big, huge change. I'm, I'm ready to. I'm ready for this change. I'm ready to detach from this. Broken heart. I've learned my lesson. I mean, the world card is usually a lesson has been learned, and now it's time for me to walk away. Caring connections. Um, and head it and head into a new, a new uh, group. Okay. I, I, yeah, somebody is taking action. Somebody here is taking action on their own behalf, which is fantastic. I just want to make sure that this is focused. I also feel for some of you that you are receiving some sort of communication from somebody, from an old friend. Somebody's receiving some communication from an old friend that could lead to a caring connection, could lead to a partnership. Expect the unexpected. This person could make you very, very happy. Maybe you're moving to a new community in which you meet somebody that that um, you jive with very, very well. I believe that there is some sort of reward coming for walking away for expanding your horizons for detaching from this this broken heart that is is that that has deeply wounded you i feel like there's a opportunity for a new connection where you you may find somebody really appreciates you more than you ever thought they would um, I feel like you do have somebody that is going to chase you, you know, that is going to chase you um, because they, they see that you are honest, okay, because this is very honest. I feel as though there's a whole new door opening as you close one cycle, as you walk away from because she's walking away too. As you walk away from this, whatever it is that you've been attached to, maybe, you know, you need to let your friends help you. Maybe you need to open up. Maybe you need to, I, for some of you, this is moving to a whole new community. It really is. Journey walking away, moving to a whole new community and meeting somebody new. So if some of you have done that, there is somebody, there's somebody new that is going to come right into your life. And it's because you took action. You walked away and now you're going to receive some sort of reward for doing so. If you are not moving to a community, community you could, you could um, have a friend that reconnect, that communicates with you, that becomes more than friends as well. A friend could become a lover per se. I feel like there is a major new beginning here that could lead to a really strong connection with another person. 
So that's what I feel like this energy is about. I feel like somebody's action, you know, is taking, is, is bringing them in a new direction towards happiness, okay? Towards um, extreme happiness where you, there's mutual appreciation and um, friendship here. So not only are, is there, there's friendship, but there's love. So there's both, okay? So I feel as though there, there's probably going, because this is the, this is the communication chakra. It really is. There's going to be some sort of communication that comes in that makes you very happy. It could be from a friend of a friend, you know, a friend of a friend that turns into some sort of, of, you know, love situation where there's mutual appreciation or this could, you know, that's what it is. If somebody walks away and, and they, you know, there's a big change that because they took the action to really, really detach because they, they proved that they could do it. They're receiving some sort of new connection with somebody that is very loving and kind and there's mutual appreciation for each other, which is fantastic. Um, I just want to get a couple of clarifier cards here. I just, I feel like for some of you, there's a, It's like a friend of a friend. It's a friend of a friend of a friend. You know what I mean? It's like... I think this new connection is ter starts out as a friendship and leads to, to love. So I think that, that, that mutual parties, both parties have broken hearts. Both parties are still detaching from their broken heart. And there's an opportunity for a new beginning because both parties have walked away and taken action to appreciate, you know, themselves. Appreciate the lessons. Appreciate the journey. Now, this is the justice reversed. This is, there could still be some legal issues. Somebody could be going through a divorce. There is some unfairness here. Somebody has been treated unfairly. Maybe that's why they had to walk away. Maybe there was a third party situation that has caused somebody to feel like they can't trust. There's been a lack of, or somebody is um, afraid to put in effort. I think that somebody in this dynamic had been dealing with a liar, okay, had been dealing with somebody that didn't want to be held accountable, didn't want to put in any work. Another 11. Um... And therefore, they had to walk away. And now they're afraid of love. So, we have somebody here that is afraid of love. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Because they dealt with somebody in the past that treated them unfairly. Didn't want to be held accountable. Didn't put in effort. And didn't openly love them. You know, didn't, didn't give them the love that they deserve. So now... We have another person, we have this person that's walking away from that, but feeling like they don't dare to open their heart. So 
somebody's afraid of love here. And maybe that's why we had woman, woman holding coin because when you're afraid of love, you're going to bury yourself in other things, right? <sighs> this broken heart, this lack of love is what you're walking away from, right? Right? You're walking away from this injustice. You're walking away from this person that didn't put in effort. That doesn't mean that somebody else won't appreciate you. Okay? Remember that. It doesn't mean that somebody else won't appreciate you just because you were dealing with somebody that um, didn't know how to love. Okay? Here we have the Ten of Wands reversed. This is... Um, <clears throat> It's time to make a conscious change. It's up to you to make that conscious change. And I think that's what's happening. I think that you guys have made a, a, made a conscious change to walk away from this situation that didn't give reciprocation. There was no reciprocation in love. And even though you were attached and it hurts, still hurts, walking away is going to, you know, give you some person. This is a card of personal freedom. It's going to bring you a reward with somebody that appreciates you. So I feel as though there is an opportunity for love here. There is. With somebody new. Could start, start out as friendship. If, if you are able to really open your heart back up. Okay, open your heart. Appreciate this lesson that you have learned. Appreciate yourself. Appreciate that you are strong enough to detach from this situation. Appreciate that it wasn't you. It was this person that didn't know how to love. Okay, you were dealing with somebody that doesn't know how to love. I'm sorry. I mean, that's what this is. But there's an opportunity here. There is an opportunity here for a new connection that can make you extremely happy because you take action and walk away. Okay? Because you take action, detach yourself and walk away. Okay? Because you walk away, you, you, you will receive a bountiful reward in, in, in the name of love. I mean, a caring connection with somebody that will really love you for who you are. We're just going to get one of these. Oh, I guess we're going to get two. Child, you care deeply about children and they readily respond to love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. And maybe you need to honor your own inner child. Maybe you need to honor your own children. Maybe, it, and maybe you need to walk away for your own good. Take that inner child by the hand. Seriously, look at that inner child right now. Look at yourself when you were a child. Think about it for a second. You are that child's mother or father. Protect that child. What does that child need? What does that little six-year-old you need? It needs to be heard. It needs to be listened to. It needs to be appreciated. It needs to be taken care of. It needs to be protected. It 
walk away from anything or anybody that doesn't honor your inner child. Notice the signs. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. Remember, I think I, I'm not sure if I said it during this reading because I dropped my readings instantly, but somebody has been divinely guided to make a conscious change that will lead them to something rich. Abundant. After you walk away, take that little child with you. You will receive something rich. <laughs> I don't know who this reading is for. Oh, release and surrender. Not going to read it. I guess I will. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. Taking action in regards to what is best for you is going to bring you a wonderful reward. And I believe that there's a, expect the unexpected, okay? There's going to be a new connection that you did not expect to, to get. That's what I think. I think there's, a, there's an unexpected new connection. Okay. Talk to you next time.